Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here in Switzerland at Amag in Bern. I will leave the link in the description if you want to check out the price of the car that I will review today and also the price of other Volkswagen cars. So if you are around Switzerland or in Switzerland, check them out. They have uh, a lot of cars, great service and great price. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about a great budget city car uh, with great consumption, good engine and pretty reliable. And that's it, the new Volkswagen Polo Trendline. Actually, it's not new because it's out from 2020, but the fact that it's the last version on the market, I can say it's new. Anyway, if you want to buy a Polo, this is the last version that you can buy it, uh, brand new. Anyway, uh, I'm right here with the Polo. This is the trend line, the entry version, because I know many people complain you make reviews or other reviewers on YouTube make videos only with the full top versions. I was thinking, okay, I have to make for the people that also have a lower budget and, and they want to buy a car. And I think I have the perfect city car for you right here, guys, uh, at least from Volkswagen and that's uh, the trend line, the entry version, it comes with a one liter petrol engine MPI multi point indirect injection and it comes with an 80 horsepower engine, uh, 95 newton meters, but all about that in a second. By the way, if you're new on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see all the notification when a new video come out. And now let's go to the technical details. Let's talk a little bit about the technical details and then we'll go forward. By the way, this is the the, the key right here guys it's a classic key you probably see it for for many years now from Volkswagen uh, also it has a classical start contact I will show you later uh, but this is not so important uh, let me talk about the important things right here so as I said before we have right here the Polo uh, with 1.0 uh, uh, petrol engine MPI 80 horsepower uh, 95 newton meters it comes with three cylinders by the way in line three cylinders i know most of you are interested the starting price of this car on the internet brand new basic model it's around 80,100 or something like that but this one here because it has the winter package the climatic uh, package you can see right there uh, and i'm not sure what else have i will show you a little bit later it comes with 1000 extra but the fact that it has 3000 kilometers that is nothing i mean it's a new brand new car because the new uh, the price as new it was 22300 because of all these extra options that you have it here i think uh that will come with i will show you a little bit later uh, but this is the most affordable option and then of course you can get some extra option 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 and then you can make it expensive so now that i give you the technical details i want to show you the lights first time i will turn off the lights but keep in mind that the car come also with this classic start engine uh, key so that's something um, kind of a downside here but for me uh, it's not because when you talk about affordable car you can expect about this kind of stuff but the more important thing in a car guys it's the reliability the comfort uh, the practicality and also the price when all these four come together in a good uh, offer then you have a great car and guys Volkswagen group make reliable cars let me turn on the, the lights and to have a brand new Volkswagen car uh, with all the techniques and stuff at this price I think it's a great deal now I start the engine and to be honest you can't even hear this petrol engine it's so silent and that's something that I want to notice I want to tell you before we start uh, reviewing the car it's incredible silent even if you come close here you cannot hear so much noise uh, and the engine is not warm when it's warm it's even even uh, silent so it's great great even from the interior you can hear it too much let me take a round uh, on the car so you can see a little bit better how it looks we have a gray car gray dark right here color on the polo and it looks pretty okay the design of the of the new polo looks really beautiful it's quite big it's almost big as a golf you can see right there the golf this is the new Golf R. If you didn't see the full review, check out on my channel. You can see the size of the car. 
it's really really similar with the Golf. Now I want to start a little bit with the lights. Let's talk a little bit about the lights and then we will go forward and I will show you uh, the rest of the car. But overall it looks nice. Also the rims, quite small rims, but it looks quite uh, beautiful and the design, it's nice lines. Uh, overall, I like it. To be honest, the, the design, the exterior design of the new Polo, it's much more beautiful than what was years, years before. Now, let's start with the light, as I said before. Uh, here, the car comes with a normal bolt light, even on the turning signals, even on the uh, reverse light, and even here, I'm not sure if you can see it so well, uh, right there on the camera, it comes with, if I'm not wrong, with a bolt light inside there, but it looks like it is LED, and also from the back here, you can see it better. Of course, you can get uh, the full LED light uh, as well as an option. I'm not sure if on this version, but uh, for sure on other versions. Now, if I'm here on the mirror, I will talk about the mirror and also about the light. Uh, the mirror, it's pretty nice, nice design, nice edges right here. I like the way they design it and it's pretty small, pretty aerodynamic. You have LED lights here on the mirror, on the blinkers on the side. Also the design of the mirror, it's beautiful, beautiful lines, pretty aerodynamic and small, it's perfect. Then going forward, right here in the front, this trendline version come with normal bulb light, yellow, uh, high bin, low bin, turning signals, everything. It's, it's normal bulb light, of course, at this price. Uh, you can expect more from the Volkswagen. Also, the, the, the fog lamps down here are also normal bulb light, and you have an LED daylight down here. That's nice, it's interesting, but it doesn't look super, super fancy. It looks simple. Um, yeah, simple. I don't know. It's nice. It's not bad. Let me go a little bit back so you can see a little bit better the both of them. So they are quite okay. Quite, quite okay. Good. Uh, now that we talk about the light, I think I can also stop it. Uh, but before I stop it, I want to show you because I forget down here on the number plate. Keep in mind that you have LED lights. That's a good thing. That's a great, great thing. Uh, in the nighttime, look really beautiful. Now, great. Also, the car doesn't come with blind spot technology or this kind of stuff. But we will talk about that later. Let me close the engine as well. All right, silent and nice. Good. The quality of the doors, as you hear it, typical Volkswagen, good quality. No worries about that. Uh, here in the back, you have a roof spoiler, pretty simple classic nothing fancy although i like the lip it has a kind of a lip here I'm not sure if you can see it that look nice the radio antenna quite big uh, then you have the brake light led light here on the brake light pretty big window in the back so you have a good visibility from the interior i drive the car and the visibility is good wiper here pretty useful uh, not tinted windows or stuff like that so you can see everything is simple even here around the windows you have a normal uh, black rubber around the windows um, and then if i go in the back here uh, you have the polo logo on the left side and other than that everything is simple four parking sensors by the way it comes in the back here uh, the car very helpful when you park the car because this model doesn't come with a reverse camera i think you can get it as an option but you will have to pay some extra now i like the fact that it doesn't bother to to make an exhaust pipes or even to fake them uh, down there is just kind of a plastic here as you can see kind of an exhaust pipe but it's a plastic mat um, i like that these those days not so many manufacturer bother to make exhaust pipes and make it sporty actually this car is not created to be sporty so it doesn't mean it need to have some exhaust pipes here interesting lines i like those lines that don't come across the car uh, on the side here it's really uh, really nice on the down part here you have just normal paint so no protection no plastic nothing it's just the normal paint down there uh, the handle it's also simple no keyless entrance and nothing uh, special here it's just normal handle and overall um, yeah this is the back of the car let me go in the front here the hood although it's very nice i like the lines pretty aggressive lines on the hood so the hood make the front of the car 
look really interesting really beautiful and i like it i really like those sharp edges here that Volkswagen added on the cars then if I go a little bit down I like very much the new grill the way they continuing this this part down here with some kind of uh, same color as the as the paint you know the grill is much smaller it start to be smaller and smaller but you still have some in air intakes here to cool down the engine here in the middle you have the uh, Volkswagen logo behind the logo you have the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety features. I'm not sure if this car come with all those features, although the, the logo look like it is. I will check out in the interior. We will talk about that later. Then going down on the bumper, I like very much the bumper. Actually, the bumper look quite sporty. You can see those lines here on the side that they make. Uh, make the car look quite, quite sporty down here interesting and i like it i like this down part here it looks really good really really good the down part the bumper down there look really interesting and to be honest i like it very much beautiful 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 down there front part of the car it's quite quite nice and also quite aerodynamic so the car have a consumption of 4.8 liters pretty great consumption and i think i'm sure about that uh, because I had a Volkswagen before, you can get even better consumption if you drive economical uh, at at least at low speeds. If you don't drive uh, on the highway, you will get amazing consumption uh, with this free cylinder one liter uh, engine. Now, the rims, as you can see here, they are 14 inch rims, long time no see 14 inch rims on a car, and they are not all the way wheels, they are just actually metal you can see stainless steel and those are plastic caps but it looks quite okay i mean it doesn't look bad at all and they are super comfy so much rubber that mean in the winter and no matter over the bumps you have amazing comfort guys really amazing comfort over the bumps so it should be fine now there you have uh, brake discs inside there i'm not sure if you can see it but it comes with brake discs in the front and also in the back it comes with drums really yes drums we have drums in the back you can see there not sure if you can see it so well but the car come with drums um yeah those are made for cutting up the costs of the car uh, the drums are also good you don't have to worry about the brakes because most of the brakes are made in the front in the back uh, the car doesn't use too much the brakes uh, and they will last also longer they don't have to make the service so often anyway the exterior it's almost done let me open up the hood go in the front right here and then let's see the engine here on the engine guys as i said before one liter petrol engine mpi 80 horsepower 95 newton meters three cylinders in line pretty classic array nothing fancy a lot of space down there yeah, it's pretty small engine, perfect for the city. Going in the back, let's see the space in the back here. Manual lift gate, pretty big. Uh, also up here you have some handles, you have the triangle, you have this protection for the trunk. I will take it also out so you can see how it looks. Uh, overall, it's a pretty good uh, size of the trunk, pretty big for the size of the car. Uh, in my opinion, you have also hooks for grocery, some storage space in the left side, uh, a normal light, bulb light here, yellow light. Then you have kind of an entrance here, like five centimeters, maybe 10. It's not a flat floor, but under the floor, you still have a huge space where you can even put a spare tire if you want. This car doesn't have a spare tire in, in Switzerland. All the insurance have this pun health in case your tires it's out you can change it you can call the insurance company they, they come really fast and change it so every, not everybody use this spare tire they save a lot of space down here with the repair kit and yeah it's pretty nice great so uh, let me take this out and then we will continue you can see better the entrance in the trunk is big so you can fit here without any problem fridges wash machines mobile parts no problem i mean it's big i like that the way it is 
Then, if you want to fold down the seats here in the back, you have to fold it 60-40. You cannot fold the middle part for skis or long, long items. But if you want to fold it just like that, you can carry long items here on the side and then you can still have somehow two passengers there or maybe one. Um, and then if you hold, fold this one, it's super simple, just like that. You can see that you have almost a flat floor there and also the quality uh, on the ground, it's quite good. I mean, the quality here behind the seats, it's very good quality, I like that. Uh, Volkswagen use really good uh, materials. So from this point of view, it's, it's quite good. So you can see also from here, Overall, it's a big space for, for the size of the car. It's more than enough. I think it's around 1,100 and something liters. I will add it on the screen. Also, what I notice now is this seat here. It's way too much in the back. Why is that? Let me go. Let me put it a little bit in the front. I think this is more realistic like that, even for a tall people. Great. Now you can see a little bit better. Uh, the way it looks right here. So uh, pretty good space, not bad at all. Um, as I said before, it's almost a flat floor. I'm not sure if you get the headrest a little bit forward. Oh yes, look at this. If you take the headrest a little bit forward, you can even get a completely, almost completely flat floor. So cool, huh? I like that. Also, you have some space here on your legs for, for some extra storage if you want to. So overall, it looks quite good uh, and it's a nice space here. I like also the roof that it's white, bright, look beautiful, this, this white, bright roof. It's really, really good. Cool. Okay, I will put everything back and then we will continue uh, the video in the interior, guys. The doors, uh, you have a big window, I like that, a big window from one piece uh, and the, the other window piece is right here on the body of the car, it stay here so you will see the visibility inside, it's quite good. Going on the doors here guys, on the upper side we have plastic, almost most of the, the I, I mean all the door here in the back it's made by plastic, um, that's the reality. The thing is that the shape, the design, it's quite nice. Also the quality of those handles, it's very good. You have even the, the electric windows here in the back, some storage space, and then you have this speaker. So yeah, what can you expect from the entry level? Going inside, big entrance here. Uh, and then here we have fabric material seats. Uh, they look quite nice. They are quite comfortable, uh, wide enough, big enough, long enough. They are super, super comfy, so you don't have to worry in terms of uh, comfort uh, when it comes to Volkswagen seats. I know they test those seats. Uh, they make many tests and they, they try to make it perfect, perfectly comfortable, no matter which material they use. Uh, you can install two child seats here in the back without any problem. Uh, the only downside, you don't have a center armrest right here. Uh, if you really need that. But the other plus of the car here is that here they kind of design this middle part, even for a person here, can stay really relaxed here in the middle. So you can see they make it quite flat and quite good for, for a person in the middle. So from this point of view, it's one of the, the, the most spacious here in the back. Now, behind the front seats, you have fabric material everywhere. So no plastic, nothing. That's something that I like. Then here, between the seats you have two USB. That's really, really impressive to be honest on the entry level uh, Polo at this price. That's awesome. Let me go inside, going inside. All right, and you have such a good comfort. I always love to sit on this Volkswagen uh, seat. Here you have a hook that close the door. Now, I'm really curious, the sound insulation. So you cannot hear so much noise from outside. So that's a good thing. I like it. I like the way it sounds. So no much sound from outside. This is great. The space here in the back, it's more than huge. Look at this. In a car in this class, this space, it's crazy. It's like a golf. Crazy space. And, and the fact that those seats are super wide, even if they are fabric material, trust me, I sit on the leather seats worse than this in terms of comfort. I know them. Um, yeah, the only down thing 
probably if it was here some kind of soft material was amazing but yeah no complaint the visibility is also pretty good as i said you have a small window there pretty good visibility here in this area let's see the legs room the legs room it's okay five six uh finger space and then you can stretch a little bit the legs under there pretty nice and also you can see in the front pretty pretty cool uh the space there and the way it looks it's quite quite okay and also those seats you can get you can take these seats even a little bit further forwards uh, but anyway let me go in the middle now as i said before you have a flat floor here if i go in the middle plenty of space here plenty of space here no problem even here i have four and half fingers a little bit less space than on the side but the fact that they make this back of the seat so round and even down here whoa it's so soft and so nice i like it it's super comfy here man and look at this no stretch my hand not completely and even here not completely but it's impressive impressive how much space they make here and you can have three people in the back it's the same almost i think it's the same space as in, in a golf because the car is also brighter you have much more space here it's, it's incredible it's incredible how how good you stay here in this class it's well great job volkswagen going forward now uh this is the dashboard right there so you can see the design the lines look really beautiful even though i think we will go there most of the the dash is made by plastic but it looks good it looks really really good in my opinion the design it's beautiful it's modern and also you have a pretty good visibility on the window so yeah let's go in the front all right guys so going here in the front you have a big window that's a good thing from one piece that means you have great visibility as i said on the door plastic here on the upper side then you have the handle good quality handle uh the buttons lock and unlock then here also plastic now the difference in the front is that here where it's really matter in this area you have fabric and soft material where your arm are resting while you're driving and then you have the buttons for electric windows electric adjustable mirrors heated mirrors quite good uh, option then you have plenty of storage space here in the door bands and also here you have the speaker with nice design nice trim design there great uh yeah overall the design of the door it's quite nice uh and you have some kind of soft material where where your arm is resting so it's really uh, important that going forward here at the entrance some plastic simple plastic pedals normal pedals there and a little bit upper here you have controllers for the lights you can turn on and off the lights from here i think you already know it from the previous version of the car and going a little bit upper here you have the vents good quality vents here and uh, they feel quite nice when you when you touch it and when you turn it and in the black black matte it looks quite okay going forward inside here you can see the seats fabric material seats in the front as well simple design nothing fancy nothing crazy here um they have kind of a side support side support they are quite good a little bit stiffer down here here are more softer in this area where your back uh, it's resting so uh, you should don't have any back pain uh, on those seats so overall they look simple it's pretty simple flat also the manual adjustable seats uh, as expected also you can adjust the steering wheel from here manually forwards down up and every position you want just like that uh, from here it's pretty simple anyway let's go inside because it's sunny and the sun broke my light good i'm here inside guys and now i want to show you the visibility around the windows so you can see right here very good visibility around the windows no problem in terms of visibility i mean you have a great great visibility around the windows very practical uh you can see one more time the seats in the back here in the middle you have an armrest i love that and it's adjustable that's really even better it's fabric material of course but i like that uh here you have some storage space before in the previous uh, polo you didn't have that and also most of the car in this class doesn't have an armrest a proper armrest like that manual handbrake and leather here good quality two cup holders 12 volt port uh, then you have here 
the sensor, parking sensors right here button, and then you have this uh, transmission stick, five speed manual gearbox. Uh, it's pretty nice, it's well positioned, and also you have a good grip here over it. So I like it very much, the way it is, the position is perfect. Uh, start stop engine button, and then another surprise for you, it's that you have a big space for your phone here. Uh, it's not a wireless charging for the phone, but you have two USB 2. So you have four in total in this car. It's incredible, incredible how many USB they, they have. And that's a good thing. Then, yeah, actually, let me start the engine. Look how silent is the engine when you start it. It's very, very, very good quality. I like that Volkswagen, they did a super good job. Now from here you can also use it manual like that. You have automatic climatic system and this is the new one. Uh, it's not the old one so you can see it right here. And even down here guys you have heated seats by the way. Winter package that's why the car is more expensive but you can get it also without if you want to but I really recommend you to get it with. And then from here you can adjust different uh, things in the climatic system, very simple physical buttons. Um, then up here you have the vents, two vents, also good quality, very simple vents. And then as I said before all over the dash you have plastic uh, but the dash design it's nice. Also it has this insertion of kind of a matte plastic that looks good. Also the vents there, everything integrated, pretty pretty nice. Good, the glow box. Pretty huge, really big glow box. Here you have the SD card, CD player even up there. And the big, big, big glow box in this car, it's, it's very useful. Now, uh, great. Let's talk a little bit about the cockpit. The cockpit, it's nice. It looks very similar with the previous version of the analogical cockpit, but it's not the old one, it's, it's kind of a new, a different one. And you can also change different things right there. Uh, for example, you can see telephone audio uh, assistance system uh, for driving information. Here you can see also the consumption, the speed, how many kilometers you can still drive, the consumption right now in this moment. And it's pretty, pretty a good, kind of a good system. You don't have a digital one, but it's kind of, they integrate the function from the digital one in this one right here. So overall, it's a good system to, to be honest. And I like it. It's not bad. Not bad at all. And here you have also some kind of LED light. I don't know if you can see it on the side, some kind of nice white light uh, around the speedometer there. So overall, it's, it's a nice one. It's, it's better than, than before. Uh, the steering wheel, also very good quality, to be honest. Leather, great grip, nice, and it's perfect size, so you can control it really easy, left, right. Um, so the quality, it's quite good. Also, I like these buttons here. The controllers are new controllers, and it's very simple to, to, to adjust the, the cruise control from here. It's super, super simple. And you can see the car, as I notice, it comes with a cruise control. And if I'm not wrong, it comes also with adaptive. Yes, it comes also with adaptive cruise control. Check it out in the middle right there. Wow, in this price, it's incredible that you have also adaptive cruise control. So that means the car can, can keep uh, the distance uh, from the car in front, so it will brake and accelerate accordingly. But it doesn't come with a lane assist because it doesn't have a camera up here. Usually when it has a camera here, it, it comes also with a lane assist. So you have only this cruise control system and emergency brake probably in the car. Now here on the other side, you have the controllers that I showed you before. You can control the different function on the cockpit right there that you see it before. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's the same as on the new or more expensive version of the Volkswagens and, and it's nice. It's easy to use. It's perfect like that on the steering wheel. Uh, you can do all the, all the stuff right there. Then going forward guys to the to this part here. Here you have the blinker button, quite nice integrated there. I like the way they integrate the multimedia system in the dash and the way it's continuing right there. It's quite nice. And you have this multimedia system right here. Pretty simple. You have shortcut button on the side here uh, that get you directly to the, to the function that you want, audio, phone, voice command, even application up here. You go to the apps. This car can be connected to Android Auto and Apple CarPlay through a cable 
I will show you, I will make another video with this demonstration. So stay close guys if you want to see the video with the Android Auto demonstration and how can you install it. The sound here, you go to the sound, you can adjust the different function, balance and then bass and stuff like that from here, pretty simple. Then you have the car right here the car information and the consumption and how much the car consumed for example last 239 kilometers 6.7 liters you can get much better consumption for example look at this 3000 last 3000 kilometers you have 5.7 liter consumption and yeah it's, it's quite good uh, consumption for a petrol engine then here down here you can change different information the consumption climatic system how much it consume uh, driving information think blue trainer this is a trainer to give you some tips how to drive economical if you want to here are a lot of tips also of course you can change the, the language of the screen in english if you want to i will show you in a second from where um, yeah and this is the setup of the car also we have some extra setups here um, traction control you can deactivate it from here uh, the tires information the light information um, the, the driving assistant systems right here, uh, front assist as I tell you at, at the emergency brake it comes with the car um, and then different different lock and unlock, the instrument panel, the date, date and time, the service information you find it here about the car when you have to make the service and then you have this was the car and then you have the menu here when you go to the menu you have all these settings uh, right here in one place if you go to setup you can go here to the languages and you can change it pretty simple just like that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten second and then it's change the language and then you can see screen date time uh, units you can change the units kilometer miles uh, whatever you want to change it from here it's super simple and factory settings and stuff like that if you go back to menu you have all the information apps images sound as you see before on the sound it gets you here so you can change the different function and then you have the vehicle that you see it before and then you have also uh, the telephone the radio and media doesn't have the navigation installed on the car by the way uh, i'm not sure if you have to pay extra or you can get installed on the car but uh, if you don't have the navigation and if you have a smartphone you go to the app connect and you can connect your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay and it's very very simple to do that and I will make another video special for that special for this car how to connect Android Auto to this multimedia system that Volkswagen still use it on the trend line version of the cars and then you can see how easy and how simple it is to have the Google map here on the screen but uh, if you want to see that click the subscribe button to see the video to see the notification when the video will come out then going up a little bit here i like these white edges of the mirror quite small nice tiny mirror and they use the same mirror on the t-rock uh, and it's nice you have a good visibility in the back up here overall you have the light normal bulb light yellow light nothing fancy nothing crazy and then here you have no mirror nothing it's just a place where you can put your stuff but i like very much the the, the roof and the quality of the roof guys i mean the roof quality it's amazing it's incredible it's soft it's nice it's it's gorgeous gorgeous quality on the roof um great job volkswagen anyway let's stop the engine right now and let's make the end of the video um i guess that was the video guys with uh volkswagen polo trend line uh, i hope you enjoy it i hope you get some useful information and if you are on the market for a budget city car that may be a great option for you you go test drive it see the car see if you like it uh, in my opinion i think it brings a lot of quality a lot of reliability from volkswagen group with the engine it's great uh, the technical stuff is, are great here and I like the car also the comfort it's quite good as i said in the beginning of the video comfort reliability uh practicality uh price i think those are the most important things and this car have it all so what can i say it's not bad not bad i even think for me if i want to buy a car in this class a petrol car uh, or an ic car that might be a great option probably i will buy it for me as well Anyway, thank you for watching guys, uh, don't forget to like, share, that would mean a lot for me. Also subscribe to the channel to see the next videos that come on my channel. 
If you like the music in the video, you have the link in the description. Also, um, if you want to find out more technical detail about this car and about all the cars, check out our website sdadancar.com. Uh, you find a lot of information about the cars and news and, and all kind of uh, interesting stuff. Uh, car buying guides and stuff like that um, right there on the website. So thank you for watching. As always, stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.